Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Unknown Armies, Book 2, Run. This is the Game Master's book for the Unknown Armies tabletop RPG of modern occult situations, scenarios, adventures. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about objectives. Player characters want things individual things or collective things. That's why they came together with their current group. The pursuit of mysticism is always about achieving ends non-obviously. It's about pulling the hidden strings of symbols to unravel the sweater, concealing the nakedness of the cosmos. Objectives are player-defined wants, measured with percentiles. When they grow to 100, they are fulfilled no matter how poorly the players roll. An objective requires three components. It needs a scale, which is either local, weighty, or cosmic. It needs a path, which is comprised of tasks called milestones that contribute to the completion or attainment of the objective. Finally, it needs closure. Let's talk about that first. Closure is about, of course, fulfilling your objective. This closure can be attained in a subtle way, perhaps across various scenarios. Or maybe the closure itself will happen in the middle of a session. You could even try to reach the conclusion of an objective by taking the plunge. That is, when the percentage is not exactly high enough, you can still attempt to roll for it after a particular crucial point of a scenario has been reached. This of course could result in disastrous consequences. That's why the entire group of player characters want to raise this percentile value as much as possible across successive missions. But if you reach your objective, if you attain closure, then it's time to come up with a new objective, unless you want to stop the campaign there. Let's talk about scale. It could be local, such as we are going to invent our own school of magic, or let's find out who killed the homecoming queen and why. In the case of the weight of the objective, perhaps you are going to find a way to harness occult forces to harass and slaughter those whom you despise. Or maybe you are going to climb to a position of great trust and authority within your regional community of magic quashing sleepers. When it comes to the cosmic scale of the objective, perhaps you are trying to become a god walker. Or maybe you want people to have a clear, well-publicized reason to dispute the Catholic Church's moral authority. When it comes to path, the Game Master usually defines the scale of the objectives, but the players choose the path to attain those objectives. This is made possible through accomplishments that serve as a bridge between fact and desire. This forms the path. There are two types of milestones. Petty and intense. A petty milestone is one with low risk, low investment, and low return. An intense milestone is inspired, risky, or costly. When it comes to a local milestone, perhaps a reality bruising ritual involving the anniversary of a local tragedy, photos cut from magazines, and minor vandalism are involved. If the milestone is weighty, Perhaps undergoing voluntary demonic possession is involved. If there is something cosmic to it, maybe you want to kill a godwalker in some symbolic fashion. So depending on what you are trying to accomplish, things could get petty, low scale, or intense, risky, perhaps with a universal impact. Once you obtain the desired effects, it could result perhaps in a blessing for the entire group of player characters, or maybe in a curse against their enemies. But if their objectives backfire, perhaps it's the other way around. There is a possibility of quitting your goal, and perhaps shifting to an objective on a lower scale, or even a greater scale in a different manner. Sometimes the objective has to do with benefiting the entire group of player characters, in other cases, the objective could be related to destroying someone else. Maybe it's a little bit of both, or a lot of both situations. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about sessions. 
I like the structure of objectives. It's quite clear how across several scenarios or sessions, the percentile value for your particular collective objective is going to go up. And it's for you to decide if you want to push things further, if you want to wait, or maybe you want to take the plunge and try to achieve your goals, even though the preparations are not exactly well grounded yet. It's all about taking a calculated risk. Thank you for watching this part of the review and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment below. And remember, roleplay solves everything. Once again, thank you, and see you later.